Okay. First viewing of JD's garage. My version. Just trying to get it set up and working. We got a modification in the x-axis. Uh, using a ball screw, but we're having some trouble with the coupling. It's a solid coupling. I need a, I need a flexible coupling on it. So I 3D printed this part here and a spacer, which wasn't quite, quite tall enough. But everything else is working. All of JD stuff is working. I'm running this with the PlayStation using Universal Code Sender. It lets you hook up a, a PlayStation to control it. And we got it calibrated. The, the screw is a lot different than the belt. It has to turn higher RPM. See, that's, that mark right there is 100. I'm set to go 100, 100 millimeters. And that's 100 millimeters. And let's see if we can get the Y axis. I got it marked here also. Right there, right there is a mark. And there's a hundred. So. Yeah, it's hard to do all this. Do a negative Y. And that's a hundred. So we're good there. Oh, what else? I'm kind of late getting going, but we're catching up. Still testing this uh, ball screw deal. I don't know if we're going to stay with it or not. Once I get a um, flexible coupling, it might work better. Also, these these drivers I had before this bill there's they're max four amps so I'm not max right now they're DM 542s running gerbil on uh, nano it's hard to hold, hold this thing Whoa, hold on, baby. The uh, y axis is a lot quieter because it's turning a whole bunch slower. The ball screw is like four millimeter in a turn, so it's got to really haul. Let's see how fast it's turning. Okay, do Still working. Thanks for viewing. Goodbye.